So welcome, I'm gonna start by exfoliating my skin. I'm using Clarins Gen 2 Exfoliator. Then I'm gonna prime my brows. I like priming my brows because I hate oily, oily brows. brows. So I'm gonna be using a Kiko primer. Unfortunately, this has been discontinued. So I'm just priming my brows and now I'm filling it in using Rimmel Pencil in Dark Brown. And I'm gonna tidy up using concealer. I'm gonna be using a MAC mixed in with Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. So. And I'm just gonna blend that in using my Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna set underneath my brows because once again, I hate that oily effect. I just hate oily brows. I'm going to be using my Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm not really going to go into too much details but guys this is a absolutely super easy peasy eye look. I'm just working, I'm using that shade right there as a transition colour, I'm using it as my contour and I'm just going to contour the brows, I literally worked on lighter shades to darker shades and I put a shimmery shade on my lid and that's all I've done. And if you want more details on how to achieve this simple look, stay tuned. I'm just packing on that colour on my lid. Everything I use will be in the description box. I'm going in with my liner now, I'm using the, I believe it's the, what am I using? Maybelline? Yeah, yeah, Maybelline eyeliner. I believe it's called a Last In Drama Gel Eyeliner. But here's me trying to slay that wing. Honestly, this takes practice guys. Just keep at it. Just keep practicing and I've got some tips and tricks on how to really achieve a good liner but for this video the greatest tip I could give you is the angle man. You need to get that mirror angle right. So here I'm putting on my lashes using my bonding glue. Don't, don't judge, don't judge. I ran out of duo. So here's me fixing my, my favourite lashes. I call this DTB lashes because Honestly, it's bomb. I can't believe I just said that. So, I'm now going to go onto my face. I'm going to cleanse and tone using number seven beautiful skin cleansing water. And I'm going to moisturize and release. Hope I'm saying that right. So, I actually packed on quite a lot of moisturizer underneath my eye because I actually wanted to bake uh, advice if you do want to bake make sure your under eye is well moisturized so now I'm moisturizing my lips and just letting that moisturizer just sit in for a bit now I'm gonna prime my skin using Becca if you guys know this primer you know that is very hard to work in but if you've got the right moisturizer underneath it works like a dream. I'm going in with my foundation now, mixing my NARS in with a bit of concealer from MAC. Everything will be listed below, guys. I'm just blending that seamlessly into my skin using my Beauty Blender. It's damp, by the way. And if you notice, it's a little bit darker, but honestly, that's how I like it because I want to. My, I want my concealer to be a bit brighter as you can see now I'm using the Estee Lauder and I'm, I mix that in with um, my NARS concealer as well I just like the effect 
I'm just putting that at the bottom, so I'm just ombreing my highlight. <laughs> so I'm highlighting where it needs to be highlighted. I'm sure all of you know how to do this bit. But the trick is you let your concealer sit for a bit, especially the one underneath your eyes. Just let it be for a bit. Because if you want the most coverage, you want that baby to sit for a bit. So here's me trying to be cute. Now blending in, if you notice I'm blending the bottom part, I'm still leaving the concealer off directly underneath my eyes and touch. I'm just blending everywhere else. And I'm going to contour. I'm using my black opal foundation stick in Nutmeg. Let's just move that wig back. I'm going to contour my forehead, cinch in my cheeks, and contour my nose, my round nose. Giving it that illusion some pointy nose illusion <laughs> anyway I'm gonna blend it in now so I'm gonna try to merge my highlight with my contour guys there's a trick to contouring your nose and making it look really nice I've got a little trick up my sleeve I'm looking forward to sharing it with you soon so make sure you stay tuned honestly it takes years of practice and I feel like I'm getting there I'm mastering that art okay now I'm, I'm just smoothing out my concealer underneath my eyes because I'm getting ready to set greatest tip guys make sure everything is smooth before you lay any setting powder on that because whatever you've got underneath will translate out through that powder so so now I'm gonna just set my face using Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to dab that everywhere I've highlighted. To set my whole face, I'll be using MAC Mineralize Cream Finish in Dark and Dark Deep. I'm just going to set my whole face with this and use the dark shade underneath my eyes. I love, love, love to use Mineralize Cream Finish. A lot of people don't like it because it's really dewy, but I like that effect. Using Anastasia Contour Kit, I'm just intensifying my contour. You can skip this step because I usually do. Um, now I'm adding blush. I'm using Sleek's blush. I love, love, love this blush. I use it all the time on all my clients, whatever shade. I just love it and I take it around my face. It just gives that ombre effect. Now I'm going in with my highlighter. This is Jarrod's Cosmetics Highlighter in Dorothy. I also love this highlighter. I've got different one from high end to low end in my kit but I still always reach out for this one now I'm just lining my waterline and I'm gonna smoke it out using the same colors I used on my lid as transition colors Now I'm just going to line my lips, I'm using Chestnut by MAC, I love 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 this lip liner, everyone raves about it and trust me it is absolutely worth raving about. Now taking NYX Abu Dhabi 
I'm applying that in my on my lip and I love this combination I've had it in my kit but I don't know why I never pair them together so to intensify I've gone in with a nude lip by MAC I'm not sure what shade but it'll be below going back in now with chestnut just to intensify setting my face I hope you enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching God bless see you soon bye